Hi everyone, we hope you're well. This is just a little update from us here at Tradecraft. Um, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit today about how to pay your invoices. Um, if you're a credit customer, the best way to get your money to us is either via the pay now button on your invoices um, or a direct bank transfer to us here at Tradecraft or you can use one of our pay and in books. Now, pay and in books are great for so many reasons. Um, you'll use less paper, you'll save time, money, to name but a few benefits. Honestly, they really are great. So if you've never used a pay and in book before or you just would like to know a little bit more about it, I'm here today to tell you about that. So firstly, upon your request, um, we would send you a pay and in book full of pay and in slips and each will have your own unique serial number on. So this is what they look like. Um, here's just an a, example of what it would look like inside. Um, so you would simply take your cash and your checks, if you have those, um, to your local HSBC branch um, and you would deposit your money using a slip from this book that I've just shown you. Um, if you have a mixture of currency and checks, that's totally fine. Just make sure to use a separate slip for each. So a slip for your checks and a slip for your currency. Um, so the post office, they operate in a slightly different way. Um, if you have checks, you can pay them in using a pay and in slip, exactly as you would at the bank. Um, but if you do have currency, an easy option is to pay the currency into your own account at the post office using your card and your PIN. Uh, and then you would write a personal cheque to Tradecraft and then you would pay this in at the post office counter using your pay and in slip. Um, the post office can't accept cash into a business account without a card and PIN, so it's worth noting that. So your unique serial number will make it quick and easy for us to identify your payments so we can receipt them against your account, so that will save you time as well as our time. Um, please can you remember to put your customer reference number or your postcode on the back of your cheques just so they're easy for us to identify. Um, and like a regular cheque, with your pay and in book you will be left with a stub um, which is proof that you've paid your invoice. So that would be here. Um, so if you like the sound of our pay and in books, just give our customer services team a call or you can email them at sales at tradecraft.co.uk and we will arrange to have a pay and in book sent out to you free of charge. Um, then when eventually you need a new pay and in book, just give us an email and we'll have a new one sent out to you. So we hope this was helpful. We hope we've inspired you to sign up for a pay and in book. And um, thanks for listening.